Boom! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Wednesday. We're live. It's James Boom. Yeah! The Boom Boom Room, Don Cornelius, and it's so train coming at you. Man, we are back. We are live. We are the greatest show in fantasy football. Look, we got copycat leagues. Now they're trying to come up with their own little sports center. Look, nothing compares to the greatness that is sitting before you, ladies and gentlemen. You can have all you want. You can bring in Kirk Herbstreet. You can bring back Howard Cosell from the dead. I don't care who you get. They will not compare to the greatness that you are looking at your screen today. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why your girlfriends, this is why your wives, this is why your daughters watch fantasy football this right here. I said it, by God. Hey, last week we kicked off week one. Before we get into our pred predictions this week, my man Kenny, the freak show. I thought I was going to open up with a win. But you and Patrick Mahomes said, no, nope, not today. So I applaud you on the big win. Uh, rough loss here at God's Favorite Champion. Uh, we're a little bit in dismay. Uh, we're going to talk about that at the very end. But let's look at this week's picks. I got my man, Mike Burnett, the Archangels. I predicted a abysmal score of 136. 136. Mike, you are predicted at 148. We may be the two lowest scores of the entire week. We are in bad shape. We are in need of revival. I need Benny Hinn to come down and on my team, and we got to fix this. Mike, this week you got Derek Carr going against Arizona. Great matchup. You got DJ Moore going against the Giants. Great matchup. I think you have big days. Uh, but I look, my quarterback, Joe Burrow, Four interceptions last week. I, I hope he turns it around this week. Look, I like my young wide receivers. I like Kurt. I like Peoples Jones. I like Curtis Samuel. Looked really good last week. I know it's just for a week. And then, of course, I got Higgins, who may be out with concussion, but I like my receivers. Both of our running backs are a little shady. Uh, got Gibson did play well for me last week. But I just got a feeling, Mike. I just got a feeling. The soul train and God's favorite champion is picking up the week. Pick it up the win this week. I'll be one and one. Mike, you'll be sitting at 0 and 2. I hate to tell you, that's just the way it is. That's what's going down. And then after that, we got the freak show with an incredible score of 132 points you're predicting this week. 132. That's up from last week, though. So you're doing good things, Kenny. You're going up against the Slim Reaper. He's got 159. He's sitting at 1 and 0. Kenny's 1 and 0. Uh, man. Does Mahomes have another big game in him like he did last week? Because that is the only way you win this week. I mean, Stafford, I think he has a bounce back week for the Slim Reaper. They're playing against Atlanta, so he should sit, be on the field a lot because Atlanta's just not doing anything. Hunt and Chubb are playing against the Jets. I can see them have a huge day. For right now, I see the Slim Reaper going 2-0. and I got the Freak Show going 1-1. One and, one. and then we look at the Bolts. Wow. The Bolts. Man, y'all looking like the 89 Bulls, the 88 Bulls, the 92 Bulls, whatever Bulls they were, they were phenomenal. Bolts, you predicted 181 points. Uh, Joe, you predicted 156. Now, Joe, I like your team, but you are not the Bolts. The Bolts, Herbert, Taylor, going to have huge days. Uh, here's what I would say for you, though, Rob. My man, I would sit Robinson this week. I would start another. I start another running back. I think Robinson going to have a bad day. I think the Jaguars got a bad matchup. So that's just a little bit of advice from somebody who has a really sorry team. But I just want to help you out because I like you, Bolts. I like you, Rob. You're a good Republican guy. You got the nice beard, the bald head. You're looking fly. Uh, but for me, Bolts is too loaded, dude. I, I hope Denver has a bounce back game because if Denver does not play well, Wilson and Williams, they kind of hurt you. Uh, but no matter how good they really play. The Bolts team is just too stinking good to lose this week to Joe's guys. And that takes us to the next game. We got the Toy Soldiers at 0-1. You're predicted 148 points. And you're going against the other stud in the league, Prince John. Not Queen Elizabeth's son, but our very own Prince John. He's going to 
predicted to score 176 points. He's 1-0. Listen, I think Mixon's going to have a big day for you. Ed, I think he does. But I think Pierce, and I think more. Wow. Damian Pierce, Damian Pierce is not going to have a big day. I mean, Rex is getting a lot more touches than he is. I know it's just the first week, but you got to look there. More, I don't see really anything happening this week. I think it's a bad week. I think it's bad matchups for you. Prince, I mean, you got studs everywhere. But, like I was telling Rob, you're taking this from somebody who's got a sorry team. I would sit Josh Jacobs. I play Henderson at running back. I think the matchup's a lot better. I think he's going to score more points this week. I think you're going to see Cam Akers kind of get shifted to the back. You're going to see Henderson really take the reins and take over this running back position. So that's my advice to you. But even if you only start one running back, I still see you beating the Toy Soldiers this week to go 2-0. and Ed, get on the first coat. Coat. Sean. Catch the reference? Coats. Buy a couple coats. It's going to be a long year for you. You're going 0 and 2, my man. I got Prince John picking up the win, which leads us to the next game. We got Tsunami at 1 0 versus Team Fragile. Fragile, Team Fragile. I don't care who my man Sean picks up. I swear. I swear. <laughs> my man could pick up the guy running the ice cream truck down the road down here, and he would get hurt. My man lost Dak Prescott week one. He lost McCaffrey last year. I mean, you, I mean, your team's running on three wheels, bro, already. So with that being said, James Winston, bad, bad day. Bad day. He's going to have a terrible day. They play the Bucks. Bad day. My man, but he be eating crab legs the rest of this week. I mean, it's going to be a terrible day. McCaffrey, I think he has a bounce back week for you against the Giants. I think they look to do that. But Allen, going to have a big game. Stephon Diggs, a big game. Kamara, not so much because, I mean, the Bucks are pretty solid at defense. Uh, I still got Tsunami picking up the win to go uh, 2-0. and Team Fragile starting 0-2. I hate it. But, Josh, know this. Know this. You can love all about week one. Barkley only has two more weeks. And gone. You heard it here first. Two weeks. Gone. Which leads us to the game of the week, ladies and gentlemen. The Battle of the Bay. The Cuz Buzz. The Buckos versus the Booty Thieves. Both 0-1. Bucko, you predicted 150. Booty Thieves, 145. Man, I think Tom Brady has a better game than Aaron Rodgers. I think the Buckos running backs are better than, uh, I mean, West well, Close. I mean, you got Najee Harris, you got Fournette versus Cook and versus Clyde. Najee and Dalvin kind of, you know, equal out, but Fournette's just got a little bit more on Clyde. And then Mike Evans, I mean, Dude, Tom Brady, I already said, is going to have a big game. Uh, so Michael Thomas, not so much. Allen Robinson, the great disappearing act. Tyler Boyd, I mean, he may get a few more touches if Higgins doesn't play. But you're looking at Marquise Brown. You look at Courtney Sutherland. And then, you know, uh, Booty, you got him with Tyler Higby here. But I just think it's going to be a tight game. But I believe the Buckos come out one and one. And as much as I love my bluegrass playing brother, the booty thieves go to 0-2. And, and that is your predictions this week. Hey, but before we go, just know I will make a package deal if it's right. Like, don't be sending me crap, right? I, I, I send the crap. Don't reply with crap. I am the crap sender, okay? Don't send back crap to me. But look, Zeke, Pollard, Kittle, package deal. You give me something good, I will make it happen. Let's do this. Hey, y'all, it's been another week, and you know it's all about that boom.